came from um, the whole air, so scenario of of, of Kiddie uh, dying yeah. back on the in <coughs> September of 2015, which, which which kind of put me personally in a, in, a, in a position where I didn't really know what was happening with with my life uh, and um, yeah, really what was happening with my identity. My identity is is, is purely um, and totally formed through. Yeah, you know, playing in bands and, and, and making music. So I was put in a position where I really didn't know what was going to happen. And I've always wanted, had a, a desire to want to do um, a band with with Whale. After Kiddy um, passed away in 2000, yeah, 2015, um, we decided to get together. Uh, really, it was a case of. Um, you know, we, we, we're really going to just do some cover songs, that kind of thing. Um, Carl had the idea of getting Frank involved. And literally, Scott had been on a tour with Frank in South America. And that's where it really came about. Um, when I rejoined Vault Thrower in 2005, um, it was great for me. But I always had this reticent feeling of guilt that I'd rejoined the band and Whale wasn't involved with Bolt Thrower. Whale was the reason I joined Bolt Thrower in the first place um, back in 1987, 88, so, um, he was my, uh, my best friend at school's um, uncle and um, he was the one that involved me in getting into Bolt Thrower. So I, when I rejoined Bot Throw in 2001, I always felt really bad about doing it again, and he wasn't. I don't think really, well, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he really gave a shit, really. I don't think he was no, really he that his, bothered. He had his family yeah. too. He was, he was busy with his own life. When Bot Throw split up, me and Whale tried to do another, a couple of bands which were outside of the genre of death metal, but it never really worked. There was never really the, pow- the, the passion or the desire to make it work. Um, so I've always had that feeling that I wanted to work with him again. We went to see a band called Benediction, mm-hmm. who were playing up who? in Birmingham. Who? <laughs> um, and um, at that gig, that was in October 2015, and at that gig I posed him the question whether he'd be interested in doing another band with me. Which was really funny, which was the gig I went to, yeah. to actually watch Darren Brooks play guitar to learn the riffs for my South American tour. And it didn't really take long for Whale to, um, it only took a few points for him to uh, to decide that he really wanted to do it again. He hadn't played drums uh, since he'd left Bolt Thrower in 1994. He had not touched the drum kit. Um, <clears throat> so I wasn't really aware that A, he'd want to do it, or B, he had the, the capability to do it. He'd been offered and asked a few times by various bands over the years to do something musically, but um, it was just something he didn't want to do. So when I asked him, um, he was pretty keen at that point to get back involved and do something because you know one, one of the things I've learned is that when you, you you kind of you've been involved with something for such a long time and you're a prime mover in, in developing a band such as Bolt Thrower. Um, when you leave that band, you're always kind of considered to be part of that band. It's a huge machine. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a massive, massive part machine. of your it's massive part of your life. So in October, we went to that gig. I got him on board. I asked um, Frank Frank Healy after the show, a few couple of weeks after the show. After the South American uh, Benediction that right. talk. That was it. Yeah. When was it? When was that? Uh, of December. Yeah, so when he got back from that, we, we kind of approached Frank, and to be perfectly honest, he was the only person that I would have asked to be in a band with. You've always bass. wanted to do a, a, yeah. a band with Frank. It, it, it's, it's been a, a kind of constant kind of um, subject and topic of conversation throughout the past, you know, 20 years of our lives, really. That yeah, whenever we've kind of like been on tour with each other or or been out with each other, we've always said, yeah, we've got to do something. We've got to be in a band together. And so, so yeah, so he was the natural um, person to, to us to be the bass player of the band. And um, as, for, as for Scott getting involved, um, 
surprisingly, that, that was that was um, all down to Andy. That was, that was Andy's idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Andy was the one that suggested Scott to be the uh, the guitar player because he knew that you'd been out with um, Frank on the South American yeah, tour. Me and Frank have been friends for a very long yeah. time. We're starting a new band here with Memoriam. We haven't got um, any formulas that we're working to. There's no. no there's no set text that we have to perform to. We've got a clear creative freedom to try new things some of them which may work some may not work but the actual beauty of what we're doing and the ability to create new songs is refreshing is, is completely really what all a being in the band is should be we're not the best in the world of musicians but whatever we do we try our hardest and we do it yeah yeah. Regardless of what you do with music, I think as long as, as you go into a studio or rehearsal room and you have a laugh and you enjoy what you're doing and have fun in what yeah. you're doing, regardless of what you do with it, that, that, it, what you do with it doesn't really matter. As long as you're enjoying what you're doing, that's the bottom line. Everything else is a, is a, is a bonus. Yeah. You know, the album may, may represent we've got seven guitarists, but live we're always going to be a four piece yeah in my eyes yeah absolutely so yeah yeah I we, mean, we're uh, trying to use the technology of today as well to do other guitarists and stuff and yeah and i think that the camaraderie that we, we, de- we developed in such a short space of time really reflects in the music we play especially when we play live i think that people really appreciate and you can see see the amount of fun that we have yeah when we play together and the joy that it creates for us as individuals thank you all amazing that, and that that, reflect, that reflects in the music mm. it's um, it is really you know we, we are enjoying our chance to do this at, uh, at, at our time of life as well it's, it's, an, it's an amazing um, opportunity for us and we're just embracing it and in, enjoying every moment every before we come every second of it Memorial.